Hi guys, it's Anders. Today's Logic Pro video is just going to be about bouncing audio. Whether you want to bounce a piece of audio in a track, so you've got a MIDI line or some strings, something like that, that you've played in and you want to record those into audio and bring them into the track, we can do that. Or if we just want to bounce a rough mix out into an MP3 so we can send to somebody else, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Let's get into that. Say my name aloud. Okay guys, so here we are in Logic. If these videos are helpful for you, please pop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or other videos you would like to see, throw that in the comments down below. So what we're gonna look at today is just a little snip of a track and then how we can bounce different parts of it out or bounce out the whole project. So the track is from my album, All You Want. I will throw links down below if you wanna hear the whole of that. And it's just this. And what I want to show you is something relatively simple. Let's say we've got a piece of audio or a piece of the track that we've played out that we want to make into audio or export with its effects and something like that. So for example, if we take the keys channel here that I have selected, which is just this. Now, if I wanted to give that away as part of a sample library, on that note, there is a drum and bass sample library that is free at warriorsound.co.uk. That will also be in the links below. We could export that piece of audio so it's able to go to someone else. Because if I was to just to send this MIDI out to someone, for example, they're not going to have that same result. They need the actual piece of audio to then work with. And there's a couple of ways we can do it. You can solo this piece of audio and then select this bounce region. If we then do Command and B, we can then bounce out just that piece of audio. Um, we can also access that by going File and Export Bounce. There we are. We are. We then have some other options. Now, Bounce in Place is a slightly different one. That's the one that I'd recommend we use because you can bounce out that specific piece of audio and name it as well. And we do that by going Shift Command and B. And we do that by going Control Command and B. And as you see, it brings up a slightly different menu and we can name it. And what's important about this is it will end up in the file and project file of this uh, logic thing. So you could name it samples, for example, and you could do the whole lot in one project and then just bring them out. So we're going to do it onto new track because we don't want to replace the MIDI. And we don't want to bypass the effects. We want to keep the sound we've got and we're going to include volume and pan automation if there is any. And in this case, I would do overload protection or on for normalize. Normalize means it's going to bring the levels up to the maximum without clipping the audio. And that gives us a good consistent sound level when we're doing samples. So if we now OK that. And you can see now that we've got an audio track for all of those elements within that particular thing. And that's great for bouncing out stems and bouncing out projects, but if we're going to bounce out a specific sample, uh, we'll need to reactivate these. By default, it mutes all of them. What we want to do is not necessarily have a loop on, but we have just this selected, and we're going to do the same thing again. So to bounce just the specific region in place, it is just control and B, and that should give us just those few bars there. Um, an important thing here is include audio tail in file. I would generally do that for something like this sound that's got a long reverb tail off. If anyone uses it as a loop, they can just cut it off at the specified point, but then if they want to let it run and fade out naturally, that's also then available. And that gives us just those specific bars that we've selected there. 
as you can see the difference here where I haven't uh, had normalize on there's quite a big volume difference I would make sure that I had that on for the most part if I was exporting all these as samples to be used the last one is if we mute these two exporting the whole track now this will export everything that is selected so I've got two different versions of the track here. There's different automation going on and some different edits. I went with the second version, so I need to make sure I select it like this before then hitting Command and B. And this is going to let me export that whole part of the track. And you would choose a file for where that's going to go. For example, we're going to go to a WAV 24-bit at 44.1. And then from here, we can choose where that's going to land and what it would be named. So guys, I hope that was helpful in helping you export different bits of audio, different stems and exporting a whole track. Any comments or questions, throw them in the comments down below and I will see you on the next video.